Let us see a problem related to debt payment method. Air Limited agrees to purchase the business of X Limited on the following terms. First one is for each of the 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each in X Limited, 3 shares in A Limited of rupees 10 each will be issued at an agreed value of rupees 12 per share. In addition, rupees 5 per share in the form of cash will be paid. Second one is 10% of debentures worth rupees 1 lakh will be issued to settle the rupees 75,000 9% pledge debentures in X Limited. And the third one is rupees 20,000 will be paid towards the expenses of winding up. And we are asked to calculate purchase consideration. So A Limited agrees to purchase the business of X Limited. So A Limited is the purchasing company. And X Limited is the Vendar company. Standard 14. Only payment made to shareholders of the Vendar Limited must be considered for calculating purchase consideration. So debenture holders. Payment made to debenture holders should not be considered as well as payment of binding expenses also should not be considered for calculating purchase consideration. So now we are going to take only the payment made to shareholders of the Vendar company that is X Limited. So number one, for each of the 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each in X limited. So number of shares in X limited is 10,000 shares. Three shares in A limited of rupees 10 each will be issued at an agreed value of rupees 12 per share. We should always take only the agreed value. In addition to shares, rupees 5 per share in the form of cash will be to shareholders of X Limited, that is, that is Vendar Company, payment is made in the form of shares as well as in the form of cash. So let us now look at the calculation. Calculation of purchase consideration. Before calculating purchase consideration, first let us calculate the number of shares issued by A Limited, that is purchasing company. For every share in X Limited, that is for one share in X Limited, three shares are issued by A Limited, that is by the purchasing company. And total number of shares in X Limited is 10,000 shares. Therefore, for 10,000 shares in X Limited, number of shares issued by A Limited should be calculated. So cross multiplication. So number of shares issued by A Limited is 10,000 into 3 divided by 1 which comes to 30,000 shares. Now come to the solution part of the problem. So payment to shareholders of X Limited. Only payment to shareholders of Vendor Company must be considered for calculating purchase consideration. So first one payment is made in the form of shares. It is 30,000 shares are issued by the purchasing company at an agreed value of rupees 12. Always take only the agreed value if it is given. So 30,000 into rupees 12 which comes to 3,60,000. The next one is payment is made in the form of cash at the rate of rupees 5 per share. And number of shares in X limited is 10,000 shares. So 10,000 into rupees 5 comes to 50,000. Therefore purchase consideration is 4,10,000. Calculate purchase consideration. A cash payment equivalent to rupees 3 for every rupees 10 share in G limited. Number of shares is 1,20,000. This number of shares in G limited is 1,20,000. Second one is the issue of 90,000 shares of rupees 10 fully paid in W Limited having an agreed value of rupees 12 per share. Third one is the issue of 5% debentures of W Limited for 6% debentures of G Limited rupees 1 lakh at a premium of 20%. So W Limited is the purchasing company and G Limited is the Vendor company. So any payment made to the shareholders of the Vendor company that is G Limited is the purchase consideration. The so first payment is a cash payment equivalent to rupees 3 for every 10 share in G Limited and the number of shares in G Limited is 1,20,000. 
So first, the shareholder has to have limited their pay in the form of cash at the rate of rupees 3 for every 1,20,000 shares. And the next form of payment is issue of 90,000 shares by W Limited having a face value of rupees 10 fully paid at an agreed value of rupees 12. We should always take only the agreed value that is rupees 12. And number of shares issued by W Limited that is the purchasing company is 90,000 shares. And as per accounting standard 14, Payment to debenture holders should not be considered for calculating purchase consideration. Come to the solution part of the problem. Calculation of purchase consideration. So as I told you earlier, any payment made to shareholders of Venda company is the purchase consideration. So number one, payment made to the shareholders of G Limited in the form of cash. It is 1,20,000 shares into rupees 3, 3,60,000. The two is payment made to shareholders of G Limited in the form of shares of W Limited. It is 90,000 shares are issued by W Limited at an agreed value of rupees 12. So 90,000 into rupees 12, 10,80,000. Like and the total amount of payment made to shareholders of G Limited, that is the vendor company, is. 14,40,000 which is nothing but purchase consideration.